Hey everyone, Roblox Dev here, back with another one where today we learn about built in functions, the two most used ones that we have. So, uh, to get started, let's just insert a script into our server script service. So, there we go, we have a script in here. And yeah, so to get started, I'm just gonna zoom it in real quick. Alright, so, uh, let's see, so we have two functions that we're gonna look over. So, first, let's create a variable. Actually, first, let's insert a part. So, what? There's no plus. There it is. So let's insert a part. And uh, with this part, uh, it's going to be here. Right? Let's call it part. What we're going to do is we are going to name it to something like banana. And just for fun, I'll just like set it to yellow. So what we can do here is local uh, banana or you know like local whatever your variable whatever you want to call it is local part equals game dot workspace dot part the object that you're looking for which is the banana and what we're doing is uh, we're saying the part is the game uh the dot workspace dot banana so if you're confused game dot workspace dot banana and then what we're going to do is we're gonna, down here we're going to write print found banana and now we're gonna actually use the first function i didn't do that we're gonna use a uh, colon and uh, let's see if i can find it here maybe yeah there it is wait for child so uh the child name is the only one you're gonna look at here so uh obviously a number time out don't worry about it i've never used it so uh wait for child and in parentheses or not parentheses my bad in uh, quotation marks, you're gonna put the object. So wait for child banana. So let's go over what this uh, did. So basically, we said the part is gonna be the game workspace, and we're gonna wait for child, right? If we know what parents and we know what parents and children are, right? So we're gonna wait for a child banana. So it's gonna wait for a, an object here called banana. So obviously banana is there, so it doesn't need to wait, right? It can just straight up say part is this banana, because it doesn't have to wait. So if I hit play right now, it's going to say found banana, right? But if I quickly just, if we just rename this thing down to like part, what's going to happen is it's not going to print it, right? And that's because the thing is, waiting for child, it kind of just like, it makes a script wait. So um, it's just going to keep waiting for banana and uh, it's going to tell you if it can't find banana. Look, real quick, we're going to get an error in a few seconds here. They're infinite yield possible on wait for child banana. So basically, what this means is um, infinite yield possible. So let me explain. Infinite yield, it means it's gonna it potentially, maybe, the script might wait forever for a part called banana. So if I were to, uh, if I were to insert a part here called banana, There we go, it prints found banana, as you can see. It printed found banana because it found a part called banana. So uh, this eats up system resources if you have this here and it didn't actually find the part. So um, yeah, that's where you use wait for child, right? Maybe the part's not there yet, but it's gonna come. And when it comes, you want the script to continue, right? That's where you, that's the place you can use uh, wait for child. All right, so next one we're gonna look at is find first child. So let's get right into it. So we're going to do local uh, part is equal to game dot workspace dot banana. You know, the part is this part right here. We call it banana. So um, here we're going to do is we are going to do local uh, water bottle. It can be anything, to be honest. It's equal to game dot workspace dot. So say I wanted to get the banana, but we already made a variable. So I'd probably just do part. Well, that's just not true. So um, basically, you can't really use the variable here because what it's going to do is it's going to look for a child called part. And I can like demonstrate it's going to throw an error. See, part is not a valid member of workspace because it's like it's not a valid member of this workspace. Right? It's not here. So basically what happens is this is where find first child comes in. So you do you attach the function, which is find first child. And then you pass through the variable for us it's going to be part. So once you do game dot workspace find first child part, no error, and that's because it found the part. 
obviously we can probably do print water bottle and if I were to just do part it won't actually print anything I'll throw an error but if I go back to find first child the part variable it's gonna turn nil I'm just gonna do dot name because right now I like it tried to print the object right but we, we're trying to print the object's name on it with the index no with name let's see what's up a part is the banana and all right yeah you, you know what just leave it oh you're probably never gonna use it in that way but you know what i mean right like now you're able to use a variable to like um reference so anyway um now you're able to reference um an object like that so basically part right and obviously you can't just do dot part because that's a variable name but when you use dot part if you do dot part here, it's going to look for a workspace and it's going to look for a child called part. But basically what we did is we used a function here and we basically just attached part to it. And there you go. It worked. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, try not to make it too long. Explain the two functions. And uh, these are used a lot. So if you don't understand, just watch it again. And if you don't understand anything else, come join the Discord server. Um, I'm usually on the VC there, so you'll find me. And anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, other than that, peace.